Welcome to the YouTube Hard Truths Podcast, where you will have four or five short episodes full of little hard truth nuggets that might be a little hard to swallow, but have great impact and value with regards to your pr approach as a new creator on YouTube, other social media, podcasting, anything really, but with a core focus of YouTube specifically. In this episode, we're going to talk about why your first videos suck and why you shouldn't judge too harshly what you do or how you approach it based on those videos alone and why you shouldn't try to market yourself too hard if you just get started. So this is something that I actually recorded a couple years ago and I'm finally getting through to making use of it. So there's going to be a little bit of a scene change if you're watching visually over on YouTube or Instagram or where have you. Those of you in the podcast, it might just sound a little different, but before we get to it, I'm going to tell you about our sponsor for today's episode, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the best tool, in my opinion, I've been using it for three or four years now, to manage your YouTube channel. You can update your videos in bulk, which is clutch for updating description links or just generally changing descriptions. You can schedule your videos while still having them unlisted if you want to share early access to, say, Patreon or other fan funding subscribers, or you can do way more things than I could ever list in one ad spot. They have syndication to Facebook. They they have a lot of features. You can check it out for free with the link in the show notes or by going to ebosvox.com slash TubeBuddy to learn more. Let's get into the content. You want to know something? Your first video sucks. Your second video will suck. Your third video will suck. All of your first videos are going to suck. They're going to be awful. You're probably going to be embarrassed by them in the future. I was. My first hundred videos, my first 500 videos, arguably my first thousand or more videos sucked really bad. They were not great. I was, I mean, some people appreciated them. I still had people who liked watching them, who appreciated watching them, who wanted to share them, who subscribed to me for it, but I had no idea what I was doing. No one does when they first start out YouTube. No one. That's not how it works. You don't start out being an, a video expert and making amazing videos. Otherwise, your channel would probably be boring to watch because you don't get to see, like, progression as a subscriber. You don't get to see that. That's something that I enjoy about subscribing to channels, is that I get to see them grow and change over time. And sometimes that means that the channel no longer focuses on things that I want to watch. But that means that they're making better videos and finding their niche, that their core audience that they really want to be working with in the first place. And sometimes that's okay, and I, I can appreciate that. Now, this isn't to insult you or anything. It's not your fault. But... You have to accept that fact. You have to understand that no matter what you put out as your first video or your first like year's worth of videos, it's not going to be great. You have to get better. Just like your first words that you wrote, your first attempt at writing or drawing, your first attempt at walking or riding a bike wasn't perfect. It wasn't great. It wasn't something that people are going to subscribe to. Hell, with driving, it could take a couple years before you get good at it, before you truly feel comfortable, like, driving other people around without making everyone anxious. It's a skill. It's a craft. You have to hone your craft. You have to improve your skills. Or you can't expect anyone to like what you want, or what you put out there for them to watch. And I really want people to understand this for a couple reasons. Number one, a lot of people freak out about what they need to do for their first video or, you know, making it perfect or trying or even just trying to figure out like what the best, like I've seen the question a couple times, what's the best first video to make? The answer to that, the best video, first video to make is whatever the hell you can get up on a screen, on someone's screen to watch on YouTube because there is no best first video because it's YouTube. You're going to suck at your first video. No one's no one's going to like send millions of people your way over your first video and expecting that is completely unrealistic the whole anxiety about starting your first starting your channel on your first video and trying to decide what you should do with it should hopefully be completely thrown out the window don't worry about what you're starting with because ultimately your first 100 plus videos are not going to matter in the future you're not going to build a channel based off those videos because videos are fleeting Video format is something where you have to keep putting out videos or no one's going to watch or subscribe. And so if you only put out like five videos and want to know why people aren't subscribing for those videos and some people even like withhold more content until they get better views on those videos, you failed. You've already lost. There's not much more you can do about that or with that because you've got to keep posting. 
Every video you upload is another opportunity to pose a value proposition to someone to say, hey, this is why you should subscribe to me. This is why you should finish the video. This is why you should like it, share it, talk about it in the comments. If you don't have those opportunities, no, you, 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 the whole idea of missing an opportunity, like not opening the door that opportunity is knocking at, you have the opportunity, you have the potential to create those opportunities for yourself. And if you're not doing that, you have effectively lost. There is no way to win the YouTube game if you're not uploading more videos. Number two is because often channels take it way too seriously when they've only posted like a couple weeks worth of videos. No one's gonna take you seriously as a YouTuber until you've been doing it for six months, a year, two years, because instantly everyone knows that you have no idea what you're doing. And it would be obvious by watching your videos that you don't know what you're doing. While you may have a unique sense of humor or style or something that is attractive and worth considering to subscribe to, trying to treat your very first creations as a portfolio is a huge mistake. And I've had, I do a lot of channel reviews and consulting now with my job with my network and things like that. And I've had a lot of channels come to me wanting full on reviews and critiques of what they could do better. And they've only been posting videos for like two weeks or either they stopped posting videos for a year or two and then have only been posting again for a couple weeks and or, or haven't at all. And my number one answer is I have nothing to review here. You need to grind out videos and keep working and keep learning before there's any feedback that I can give that would be worth your time. I, I, I really hope people take that to heart. You have to do this for a very long time before you get good at it, before anyone will care about it, before your channel will grow. Uploading for a month and then giving up because no one is subscribing to your channel, if that's the mentality you have, please just give up. Like, please stop because that's not how it works. It's, it's something you do and you do and you do again and then you keep going because people want to subscribe to channels that are going to work hard, that are going to keep putting out videos. And if you're only going to put out videos if they get views, you're essentially working against yourself. More videos equals more views. More videos equals more opportunities to grab onto current events and trending topics and s develop a new style or learn editing, learn shooting techniques that people will appreciate more. And if you're just not doing that because no one's watching in the first place, well, what did you expect? Again, you're not gonna know what you're doing in the first place. You're not gonna make PewDiePie, Linus Tech Tips, Scene Anners level videos on your first try. No matter how funny you think you are, you're not that funny, or you're not that entertaining, or you're not that creative. It doesn't work that way. This is something that I see quite frequently. People who really want to push out their first videos, or really want to find success, or understand why they're not growing big subscribers, or why big YouTubers don't want to collaborate with them based on their like first five videos. And frankly, your first 100 videos aren't going to be great, and it's much better to accept that now than to figure that out two years after you've started and actually look back at your videos and be like, wow, I can't believe I tried to push those videos so hard because that's honestly never a great feeling. Thank you so much for listening to the YouTube Hard Truths podcast and be sure to subscribe on iTunes or your favorite podcast feed or over on youtube.com slash ebosvox or we, I believe we have it up on Instagram TV at instagram.com slash ebosvox as well. We have a lot of different formats here. I try to make things as accessible as possible. And if you do come over to the YouTube, we do have a whole lot of tech and educational topics as well. Thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of your day.